Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the New York Jets franchise here on Madden 21. Now, in the opener on the road in Buffalo, we did not look good. We turned the ball over a few times, and Buffalo's offense did what they wanted versus our secondary. Stephon Diggs, John Brown, Cole Beasley, all those guys did pretty well versus us. Now, we do have a couple of upgrades coming into this game. Blake Cashman, who I'm excited for as a young middle linebacker, he actually has an upgrade. He goes up to number 50 in the uh, NFL, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. That speed alone gives him an advantage and maybe even could create some turnovers that will allow him to progress even faster. So in this episode, we will be going up against two very good run offenses in the 49ers and the Colts. The 49ers have all of the superstars and X factors in this game. We have zero on our team. Just remember that. So we start off this game at home, our home opener here, as we throw to the middle of the field to find Chris Herndon, who had nine receptions, almost 100 yards last game. He picks up the first down. It's a play action fake this time, trying to get rid of it, and there is Nick Bosa. He's going to be in there really fast. You already know. So now we get it to an eventual third and ten. From our own 36 this time, Darnold moves to the right side. He's going to stop and throw, and he just airmails this one. It's going to be picked off. Richard Sherman there in coverage. He just needed to throw it up and just throw it up there and maybe a little bullet, but instead Darnold lobs it, and Sherman comes up with his first interception of the season. So we do eventually get the ball back here. Nothing doing in the first quarter. Here's a throw to the right side. It is going to be caught by Chris Herndon over Mosley in coverage. It's a first down. Nice catch. I mean, I'm loving what Chris Herndon's doing so far here this season. So inside the 10, here's a handoff. Le'Veon Bell coming off of a multi-touchdown game. He gets inside the five-yard line. And now we get it to the two. So second and goal, pitch out to the right side, and the defense is right there to stop that. It looks like Tart was in there. Looks like Fred Warner was also in there, and now we lose a few yards. So third and goal at the seven, again getting hit on the throw. This pass rush is getting in there on every single play and making Darnold look like a bad quarterback. So we move on to the second half, and I will be playing the moments in some of these games. Some of them I will play the full game. Some of them I will just, like, you know, edit it down based on what's going on in the game. Nothing doing here in the first half, nothing too exciting. So we're on to the second half now. Here is Jimmy G out onto the field at sh in the shotgun. Third and 11, he dumps it off short, and that's going to be a stop that time by the defense. Avery Williamson, Cashman came in late, and they will settle for the field goal here at the 17-yard line. The kick is up, and it is going to be good. Flag on the play, and let's see what it is. It's going to be running into the kicker, roughing the kicker, actually. Take a look. Bruh. What is going on? Bless Austin came around that edge and just, like, didn't hold up. That wasn't even a punt block, field goal block play. So now first and goal. Throw across the middle, and it's caught wide open, George Kittle. That was a damned if you do, damned if you don't play. You leave Kittle open, the slant route's open. You leave the slant route open, Kittle's open. And now the San Francisco 49ers just take advantage of us. I mean, they are just killing us on defense, and we can't do anything on offense. It's 24-3 as we move on to the fourth quarter. So now we get it to the 35-yard line here. We're down by three scores. Got to go for it. Fourth and one. Eight minutes left. Throw to left side. It's caught by Denzel Mims. Great hands on that one. Catching traffic as well. First down. And now we're inside the red zone. So here is Darnold this time. He's going to take it to the right side, pick up a block, and try to get out of bounds, but somehow he does not keep sprinting on that one. He kind of just goes into a jog, and the defender comes up, catches up to him, and makes the tackle. So first and goal, throw across the middle, and it's going to be Rashad Perryman, who can't hold on to it, and that one was a touchdown drop. So second and goal, another throw. We try the same play, but the other way, and it's picked off this time by it looks like Mosley but take a look at this pass it just hits off of the back of Richard Sherman and we had an open man in a in a really small window but the crossing slants they conflicted with each other and the ball just hits off of Sherman's back for another turnover here in this game 
So still 24 to three, but their defense has been causing turnovers. Here's a throw to the sideline and another one picked off by Richard Sherman, his third of the game. You've got to be kidding me. The 49ers come into our house and straight just shut down our offense. And Sherman had that deep uh, fly and I tried to throw it to the sideline, but Darnold just got too much air under that one. That's happened quite a few times here that he's had a little too much air under that one, and it ends up being another turnover as we go on to lose this game 24-3 to off of four interceptions by Sam Darnold. That was just an ugly, ugly game. Raheem Mostert almost ran for 100 yards. He had a touchdown in this game. Pe Perryman had five for 49. Christopher Herndon had a few catches, but honestly, nothing to see in that game. So I do want to plant it in your guys' heads and just like take a look at future contracts that we may have to re-up a bunch of guys on this roster. I mean, we have a ton of guys that are due for new contracts. Now, I know Brian Winters is still on the roster. Yes, I know he will be getting cut after this episode. I did not know until I posted the first video and I did edit ahead. But a bunch of guys are up for new contracts. I want to see what Jordan Jengis can do. He's an interesting guy because he is the starter. But who knows? Because if he doesn't produce, I don't know what I'm going to do there at outside linebacker. And uh, Luvu, I want to see what he can do as well. I mean, that outside linebacker position is probably the position that I have no idea about. Nose tackle as well. Let's see what Bryant can do. Because remember, McClendon right now is a 34-year-old defensive tackle. I don't really know if he will stick around. He might even retire, to be honest, at age 34. But I want to keep him around just as a veteran guy. He's been doing pretty well. He doesn't have many tackles so far. But he's just clogging up the middle as it is to start this season. So now we move into game number two here in this doubleheader episode. I will have episodes like this where I get through two games, sometimes even four games at times when I just show quick highlights. And this one, we're going to show a full gameplay here versus the Colts. And the 49ers game was ugly. Let's just bounce back here. And these are a battle of two winless teams. So the, four, so the Colts start out with the ball. Here's a handoff. Naheem Hines who gets in on the opening drive for a touchdown. And the Colts strike first. It's 7-0. Let's see if we can catch up to this. Another great running offense. They have three good running backs. Naheem Hines, Jonathan Taylor, and also Marlon Mack. Here to start the next drive. Here's Denzel Mims. He gets a slant route, but he has the speed. Nobody's going to catch him. It's a touchdown. Denzel Mims, the rookie, his first career touchdown reception. And he just uses his legs. That's all it is. It's a simple slant route. He makes Hooker miss, and he's off to the races. Denzel Mims with 92 speed. I'm going to have to use that speed a little more in space. So 7-7 seven, seven, just like that. And here is Marlon Mack who gets to start at running back, and he gets up the middle for a few yards. So third and inches this time from their own 35. They're going to hand off to Mack. Oh, no. Phillip Rivers is going to try to run it, and he gets stopped in the backfield. What a questionable play call on that one. Bradley McDougal in the backfield. Wow, Phillip Rivers trying to run a little bit of read option. <laughs> I thought I would never see the day, but we weren't fooled. So first and 10 now after the punt. Here's a handoff. Le'Veon Bell, he tries to get up the middle but gets stopped. Only a gain of two or maybe three on that carry. So running a man in motion here from the 45. Quick throw. It's Christopher Herndon open. First down. He gets to about the 30-yard line as we're moving into field goal range. So after a holding call, gets us to a second and 16 throw. And it's going to be incomplete. Darnold was hit on that one. They sent the cover zero blitz. It's going to be another holding call. So this one will come back even further. So third and 26 this time from the 48. Looks like the Colts send another blitz. And Darno moves, tries to buy some time. He gets hit on the throw. And it looks like it was held up a little bit and dropped. It looks like maybe a good defensive play, but it looks like Crowder may have had a step. And we had to, for we had to punt that ball away as we do get the ball back here with six minutes left before halftime. And here is Le'Veon Bell continuing to run the ball well to start this year. He is doing phenomenal so far. It's a first down for him. So quick throw on a second and 10. Knocked down. Looks like Darius Leonard was in coverage that time. He may have even had an interception if he would have put his hands up. 
So third and 10, Darnold throws to the sideline. He's got Perryman who does keep both feet in bounds, but it looks like we're just gonna have to settle for three on this drive. Remember, we missed a field goal in episode one and we make this one though, 10 to seven. And now here we are with a three point lead here. Three minutes left here in the first half. So here is Phillip Rivers back out onto the field after trying to run that read option. He throws to the right side and it's picked off. Pierre Desir, he takes it back to the 21 yard line. Now Desir is fighting for a contract. That's gonna help him. And he takes it back and sets us up with great field position. As here comes Sam Darnold out onto the field. He looks good so far. So handoff, Le'Veon Bell on the first play and he walks in, it's a touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. How good has he been so far? 17 to seven here for the Jets. And it looks like we're playing some pretty good football. So here is Phillip Rivers back out onto the field. Two minute drill, let's see what he can do. In the pocket, he moves a little bit and runs out of time. It's Quinn, it's actually Basham. I thought that was Quinton Williams for a second. And Basham gets in for his first sack of the season. So Phillip Rivers on a third and 14, he just dumps it off. Questionable throw on that one. They hurried up to the line, third and long, and they dump it off to the running back. Well, here's our offense back it onto the field here with two timeouts left. Quick throw across the middle. Jamison Crowder's got it. First down, nice catch, and nice throw by Darnold. So bunch formation to the right side. Le'Veon Bell next to Darnold in the pocket. Darnold moves. He throws deep, one-on-one, -on -one, and it's... Looks like, oh, Denzel Mims had it in his hands and then gets it knocked away from the trailing safety. But we do get a roughing the passer call. So we do get the first down anyway. So now across the 50, Darnold under center. They send the pressure and it gets to him. It's going to be a sack this time. It looks like that may have been Justin Houston on that play. So third and long from the 44. Darnold moves to the right side, trying to buy some time. It looks like he's going to throw on the run. And he's got Christopher Herndon inside the 10. First down, great throw by Darnold. He's looking good here in the first half. So from the nine yard line, we heard up to the line here, first and goal, Darnold throws to the end zone, picked off by Malik Hooker, and Hooker gets a block, and it looks like he's got nothing but green in front of him, and it looks like he's got the speed. It's gonna be a touchdown for the Colts. Christopher Herndon did not cut to the sideline like he was supposed to. He just went straight up the field. His route was a corner route and he just kept going. Wow, and the timing was just off. And, and, and the Colts do bring it back to a three point game. So now we're into the second half. Here is a catch by Jack Doyle who gets inside the 10. Phillip Rivers threatening to score. So now from the six yard line this time, first and goal, five wide out there. Phillip Rivers tries to tuck it and run it, and it's fumbled. Pierre Desir picks it up. You've got to be kidding me. This is the second time this has happened this game. He tried to keep the read option earlier and got stopped on third down. This time, he just tried a quarterback draw. He thought that nobody was expecting that, and he fumbles it. Of course he would. So now our offense is back onto the field. Great stop by our defense. Here's a throw, and that's caught by Jamison Crowder. Another great first down catch by him this game. So we have it at our own 35. Quick throw to the right side. It's going to be Denzel Mims again. First down. He gets it to about the 50-yard line. He's had a pretty good game this time around. So under center this time, here is Darnold. First and 10. Throws to the right side once again. It's Herndon this time. He gets it to the first down marker, 38 at the 38. Gain of 12 for the third year tight end out of Miami. So second and 11, quick throw to left side. It's Le'Veon Bell who's got it. another first down. We are nickel and diamond them all the way up the field, just throwing at the sticks. So we come out with five wide now. Let's see what we can do. Darnold has time, he moves to left side, throws on the run in traffic. It's gonna be Crowder who's got it. Another first down throw on a first, first down attempt. And now inside the 15, Darnold, he's rolling in this one. So as this third quarter gets under a minute left, Darnold moves out of the pocket. Somebody's chasing him. He's gonna throw on the run and it's caught by Denzel Mims. Touchdown, number two on the day for him. The rookie has had his coming out party here in the third game of the season. 
the battle of the 0-2 teams in this one. It's 24-14. So here is Marlon Mack starting out the next drive as we move towards the end of the third quarter, the last couple of plays. And Marlon Mack has been held in check for the most part. So third and four this time, trying to run the screen pass, and it's going to be a hit. It looks like Quinn and Williams was in on that hit, and looks like we do get the punt. So it looks like we'll start out the fourth quarter with the ball. Here's Le'Veon Bell. He gets a gain of nine as we officially kick off the fourth quarter now with that nine-yard run. So Darnold now from the shotgun, third and one. He's going to hand off. Le'Veon Bell gets to the 45, but it looked like he needed more than that, and it's a stop. But we line up to go for it, fourth and one. Here's a handoff, a big hole, and it's Le'Veon. First down. And now we continue this drive. We need this win. We need to bounce back from our 0-2 start. Remember, we have a tough schedule to start this season as Darnold is across the 50 now. He tries to scramble out, buying some time. He gets stripped on that one, but an offensive lineman falls on it. Justin Houston, his first year with the Colts, he gets his second sack of the game. So Darnold now, third and 18, throw across the middle. It's Crowder who beats man coverage. First down for him. Darnold has that chemistry with Crowder. He's played with him uh, now a couple of years. So Darnold throws across the middle. It's going to be knocked away by Chris Herndon, and that one will fall incomplete. So third and seven at about the 27 throw. It's Perryman. He's got it. First down. Nice throw. Sam Darnold's look good throwing on first down in this one. And now we get it to about the 18-yard line. Five and a half minutes left. Here's another throw to the right side. It's going to be caught by Le'Veon. And look at Le'Veon getting a nice catch in traffic. And you know he is a pass-catching running back. He also can run between the tackles. What can't Le'Veon do? Here's another catch. And he will walk in. Touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. Could he lead the league in total touchdowns this year? Maybe he could because he's on his way. Right now, I believe he is top three in touchdowns. And that one stretches it to a three-score game officially. It's a 17-point lead here for, uh, the, for the Jets. I'm saying the Colts. So here is Marlon Mack getting a screen pass, and he will take it to the right side, and he picks up a big-time first down. Maybe that will get this offense going. That, it, that actually puts Phillip Rivers over the 100-yard mark all the way in the fourth quarter. So Rivers throws into traffic, knocked away. I mean, these are the throws that Phillip Rivers have been making. I don't know if he's seeing ghosts or what. So third and three now. Screen pass set up. Marlon Max got it. Tackle, though. It's Williamson who's there to cover that screen pass. And now... Fourth and nine from the 50 now. Three minutes left. This stop should do it as Rivers throws, and he does have a man. It looks like it's Paris Campbell. It looks like he beat, is that DeSear in coverage? Yeah, it was. It's a first down. As now the clock winds down to the two-minute warning. So here is Rivers trying to run another screen. This one isn't going to work. He did not see Quinton Williams, did not get it off in time. That's his second sack of the game. So third and 17, Phillip Rivers throws to the sideline, and it's going to be caught. Wow, what a great throw on that one as now Rivers converts that first down. Facing some pressure this time. Rivers can't get away, and it's a sack again on Quinn and Williams, his third sack of the game. So Rivers hurries it up to the line now. Second and 17, he dumps it off. Marlon Mack, he's got room, though. He gets a lot of that yardage back. He gets to about the 11. That's a gain of about 13 yards. So now to the 11. No huddle offense. Rivers in the pocket. This time throws to the end zone. It's almost picked off. Bless Austin. Oh, my goodness. He almost had a pick six on that one as it brings it to a fourth and four at the 11. Rivers, he's backing up. He throws to the end zone. And Bless Austin gets this one. It's picked off. And he's going to take it out of the end zone. Nothing but offensive linemen. He makes one miss. Nobody's in front of him. Bless Austin is going to take it. Pick six to end this game. What a way to get our first victory. Bless Austin playing some defense on the outside. That's the second year guy out of Rutgers. He's been playing really good football so far this season in the first three games. I've been watching who's been playing some good uh, cornerback play on the outside, and it seems like Bless Austin 
might emerge as our guy here. Desir also gets a pick in this game. I like to see that from him. He is 29, though. And Bless Austin is our younger cornerback on the roster. Good to see him get going. We make Phillip Rivers uncomfortable all game long. Quinn and Williams was getting after him. This was just a great all-around victory. And how about the play by Denzel Mims taking that slant route for the long touchdown and then getting in in the second half as well. He had two touchdowns on the day. Maybe this is his coming out party. And he does emerge as one of the best young rookie receivers right now as he looks like he could be leading all rookie receivers in reception yards after this game. We'll have to see. Bless Austin and Desir have an interception each. Quinn and Williams and then Basham also have sacks in this one, four sacks total. Phillip Rivers is a turnover-prone quarterback, though. He's known to throw some interceptions and throw into traffic, especially when he's under pressure, just throwing it up. And I guess that was kind of realistic, you know, that when he gets the pressure on him, he just throws it up, to be honest. I'd rather have that than him just taking sacks anyway. Couple of upgrades after that win. Le'Veon Bell has an upgrade. He goes up to 88 overall now, and he is now the number 10 ranked running back in the NFL. Braxton Barrios, I'm gonna be looking to get him some more playing time. He's a pretty good young receiver on our roster. I like what he can do. He also has some pretty good speed as well. So we get our first win, and just looking at our next five games, it's gonna be tough. Broncos, Cardinals, Chargers, Bills, and Chiefs. Those are all really good teams. And I don't know how next episode is going to be structured, but I think I'm going to do three games in this next episode and get through some of the season, get to maybe that halfway point just about before we face the Bills once again. So that's going to do it here in this episode. We finally get our first win. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I be trying to do me, but they be trying to copy, though. Only problem with that is they not me, though. People act cool, but really they be shy. Say they got your back, but they ain't even behind me though. I be low key, but police be trying to find me.